Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. Well, this is a Friday evening. Just got in and out of the pool. Sun just set. It was a rainy, rainy, rainy morning. We're, we're dead smack in the middle of the rainy season. Sometimes you get a real quick rain and quit. Sometimes you get a long-lasting rain for two or three hours. Sometimes it pours like cat and dogs here. But personally, after having months and months and months of hardly no rain whatsoever, I sort of like it. Anyway, as for noise condition, last yesterday, we didn't have any incidents. We are destroying her carnivore diet with carbs. However, you are who you are. Your body is what it is. And we're going to have to work at it slowly. We'll try to roll back the carbs. But for right now, we're down to setting alarms and keeping track of when she last ate and trying to get food in her every two hours, but of a smaller portion. It isn't, we don't want her to overeat, but eating twice a day was devastating on her. I mean, every time she ate, she just felt like shit. And that's no way to live life. So anyway, to be honest, I don't have much to say today. It's been a very unusual time that I don't know what to say, but uh, there's so much going on that just shocks me that I'm actually trying to be quiet about it. As for me, let's see, I got up today and... My only real meal of the day was air fried middle wings of chickens. Oh, no, no, that's not true. Noi went out to the Friday market today and she brought back those really succulent little square pieces of pork and pork fat on a stick. And there's a lot of fat. They think that they're getting away with something by putting the fat on there so much and only the only a little bit of lean meat. But for somebody who wants to get fat adapted, I mean, this is beautiful see-through fat. And it tastes delicious. So I had that for breakfast, and then I guess around 3 o'clock I had uh, some, some middle wings, not the fat drumstick little wings, but the ones in the middle. And they were air fried dry and they were delicious. Noi ate the same things, but she put some sort of hot something or other on hers that had a little bite to them. They weren't terrible, but but the the hot slipped up on you. First bite you had, you said, Oh, not too bad. The second bite, not too bad. By the third bite, your mouth was on fire. So I wasn't sure exactly how she did that. But anyway, it's Friday. I want to wish everybody a good upcoming Memorial Day weekend in the United States. We Memorial Day, by the way, is the best day of racing ever. You get to watch Formula One, followed by the Indianapolis 500, followed by the Coca-Cola 600. What a day of racing. I want to remember my friend who's been... Departed for many years now. His name was Tom Case. Owned a company in Cincinnati named Debco Electronics. And back many years ago, we used to have a all-day racing watch party where we'd go over to his house. And we would watch all the races. Especially the Indy 500 and then the NASCAR Coke 600. But... It was a lot of fun back then. I'm not so sure the racing's as good as it is as it was. 
partially because in NASCAR, if one driver takes a swing at another driver, they fine him $75,000. If it wasn't for the 1979 Daytona 500, where the Allison brothers started hitting each other in the face with their helmets, I don't think NASCAR would have took off on television like it did. Like everywhere else in the world, we got too many damn rules. That's all there is to it. Everything has to be so controlled. So a driver took a swing at another driver. Emotions run high, let him go. It's all a show anyway. See, Bill Franz Sr., he knew it was all a show, so give the people a show. Give them something to see. Anyway, that's my rant for tonight. Y'all have a good Memorial Day weekend. And if you're going to picnic on this Memorial Day, eat meat. Tell them to pull that ribeye out of the freezer and fry you up a ribeye in the air fryer or throw it on that grill, that wood pellet grill, and smoke it real good. Sous vide it for 36 hours first, and you will thank me. Go carnivore in Thailand. That's all, folks.